Well, well, well. Welcome on back to another DCRL stream. I got my buddy Blasky on over here, and we are ready to deliver you some more content for the, the, for the best division, of course, Division A, with good old oh, yeah. old e girl Specters and Laura Mips. So take it away, Blasky. Yeah, I'm very, very excited for this game. Um, it, this game has a lot behind it. Uh, two teams at the kind of on the bottom rung fighting for their way up. Um, so it's going to be a really, really exciting one because it's the end of the season and they need some sort of momentum to start up before we get into the postseason. So the postseason really definitely postseason is the most important season. So <laughs> all of this is just <laughs> preliminary for that. It only comes down to what actually happens in playoffs and who gets to go to land. Of course, but uh, before any of that can happen, we do have to play our regular league season. And uh, tonight we do have good old e girls and good old Laura Mipsum. Tell me a little bit more about these two teams tonight. So uh, we obviously have e girl respecters. Uh, K Tool is the captain of that team, uh, having a rough start, uh, almost not even winning a single game within a series. I think do they have one or two? Uh, They've games won two games. Won. Yep. They've won two they won games out of their Steve five skaters. Teams. Yeah. So uh, it's been a really rough start for them. Uh, they're hoping to clean it up and kind of get back on track and see if they can really pull off their first win. And on the other side, you have Lorem Ipsum, which is uh, Simi is the captain for them. They're one in four, not as many goals or assists per game, uh, but they do have a win. And if we're being honest, that is the most important stat category. So. They have that over e-girls. And then, do you want to go in depth on the on the statistics that they have? or? I mean, of that? course I do. Of course I do. <laughs> How about we take a look at these good old Lorem Ipsum finally taking their first win on stream. Literally last night, Simi, CRJ, and good old Failure. Of course, Failure is getting the most demos per game in the entire league. So uh, definitely look out for that tonight. Might be a lot of demo plays that we could see coming out. And then uh, Simi is, of course, going to be their striker. Lots of goals coming out of him. Assists, they kind of got them all except failures. Probably dishing it out a little bit more. And I'm excited to see if Lauren Ipsum can maybe pull out their second ever win in this league. Oh, yeah. And if they if they want to get a win, I think failure definitely needs to utilize that demo passing play sort of system that he has going on. Uh, very similar to how I play. I think very similar to how your team plays. It's very It's very effective. And I think they could play through that and get it to Simi. That's how they're going to win this game if they want to do it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be through Simi. And if Simi's popping off or if he uh, lets his teammates pop off, like he kind of said in his last player player interview, uh, yeah, I think it could be a very lower Ipsum-sided game. Otherwise, we got the E-Girl Respecters, of course, headed up by K-Tool himself, Spooky Mama on the second, and Bop Bot rounding out the third slot. Exciting, exciting team to watch. Yeah, and one thing I want to note is just the difference in saves per game here. Um, the whole e -girl Respectors as a whole has more goals per game. Every single player on e -girl Respectors is competing with the other team in terms of saves. I guess Simi rounds out the top, but other than that, K Tool, Spooky Mama, and Bot, Bot have more saves than CRJ Pumpkin and Failure. Maybe that's because they're more so on defense, but I think that's going to be a big part of how they play out this game is can Lorem get past Eagle Respector's lockdown defense? I'm really excited to see it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I think I think it's going to be a Ketel has to pop off if his team's going to win. Otherwise, he has to let Spooky Mama and Bop Bop pop off, and he can't overcommit with them. Cause I know he likes to do. He's a, he's a definitely a rotations guy, but like he gets frustrated when he can't get his rotation in, and uh, he kind of collapses it sometimes. But as these predictions end, we will be getting this game going between the good old eagle respecters and the famed lower ipsum squad before we start who who do you got going and winning this and in what game um i think it's gonna be i think it's gonna be close legitimately i think it'll be a very good game <laughs> finally there i want to see a pick uh, no, they're finally responding to my uh, request, so <laughs> I'm happy about that. But uh, we will get into this one. Aye, aye, Captain. Thank you. I see. I see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, I think I think this is going to be a 3-1 or a 3-2 matter. I think it's going to be a close series. 
but uh, I do actually have Lorem taking it out. I talked to Failure earlier today, and he felt pretty confident in this one. So we are absolutely ready to see these guys get at it in game number one. All right. I also have Lorem Ipsum. I think they're going to take it game four. Very, I don't know why. I notice I keep picking game fours. They're usually not right, but I think <laughs> this is going to be the one. <laughs> oh, an early chance for Lorem. Bot Bot actually gets a nice clear out, though. Puts this in the blue side. Failure. Awkward with this one. Leaves it to Simi, though. Maybe a follow up here. No boost to work with at all. Now it will be a shot. Oh, failure can't convert. And that's early pressure from Lorem. Ipsum, my double attempt. No, Spooky Momo is awkward. And Kato actually plays this one. Shot on target. Spooky. Good save into the corner. And uh, both teams are actually playing kind of solid right now. I'm liking it. Yeah, I and we've already seen failure with already taking out the goalie. I mean, they didn't make a play off of it, but just to see the confidence to really start off with that, it's exciting because that's going to be a real difference maker, I think. Failure, later no. on. Ooh, almost just gave that one straight into the e-girls, but sorry, I cut you off. Oh, no, you're good. Did you, were you going to finish your thought? <laughs> oh, no, I mean... Like, it's just, it's a big, it's going to be a really big difference maker. And I know that with how heavily uh, E-Girl Respectors try to work on rotation stuff, the failure can just kind of manipulate it and make them a little bit more frustrated. It's going to really kind of, I think, tilt them and make them play a little worse. I think you're right. I think this is going to be a very telling match. And if uh, everything goes in their favor, this could be, this could be the match where Kato maybe really stands out in this team. Or it could be this match where you see his defense fall apart, but no, he does actually collect this one. Good flick. Actually gets around one. 1v1 with Simi. Let's just play it to the corner. Simi should collect this one. Doesn't have to use any boost at all. He might not even have any. Pops it over one. Finally grabs some boost. He's full now. DRJ over to Simi. A little bit behind him, so he can't play with it. Now it is Spooky Mama. Shot just off the target. Failure did go. Gets a touch off the wall. I like that. Simi now big clear. Just Spooky Mama as Kato's rotating back. Spooky gets a singular touch. It works out for him. DRJ into the midfield. Failure up for the shot. It's not going to fall as Kato did pressure him pretty well. Spooky Mama shot high. Doesn't work out. And Simi does save that one. Uh, it's it's a really... Into oh, as we almost see a shot from Bot Bot. Not very common to see that. Um, it It's really interesting to see how these two teams are playing. Because I've watched them a lot. And they look very different this time around. Obviously, you have some tendencies that they both uh, kind of consistently do, but honestly, I'm just surprised to see a 0-0 game so far as we're halfway through now. It, it's totally different than what I expected this to go. We see this. Honestly, I'm seeing a lot more demos coming from E-Girls than I anticipated as they almost score CRJ Pumpkin with an amazing save. And I, I'm... <laughs> There's just a lot of demos going on. And... Simi. Oh, no, he backflipped. <laughs> he couldn't get a flick off that one. Now, Kato actually throws this one to the corner. Maybe a peak play going out. Spooky Mama shot on target. And CRJ cannot save that one. Spooky Mama scores first in this match. Three minutes in. First goal. And so it's a passing tool. Great pass to me. And CRJ can't save it. Yeah, that was all placement there. It's just an awkward spot for them. And they took advantage of it. So, honestly, pretty slow start, but a lot of game ones are typically sloppy. I wouldn't say this one is that yeah. sloppy, though. No, so. they, they both came out to play so far. Nothing, no big overcommits or uh, exuberant shots, but both just solid play, not trying to make any mistakes. Simi now throws this one, maybe has it in the midfield. Actually just goes for a collection. Demo from failure doesn't actually make contact, and uh, everyone stays alive. CRJ, good. 50... Failure could have turned on that one, but actually leaves it for E-Girls. And Keitzel will take that one. Shot attempt. Not even going to work out for Keitzel. Failure collection here. Does not get it over Bop. But really good challenge from him. It's going to be in the midfield. DRJ out to Failure. Failure with the redirect. Keitzel pinches with it. Might be in Simi's net. And it is. Keitzel reads that one. E-Girl respecters are up 2-0. Who, who saw this coming? No one in chat. <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't lie to yourselves. That's twice now that K-Tool's team, well, specifically K-Tool with the pass on the first one and now with the shot on the second one is just taking advantage of awkward positioning defensively on Lorem's side. So um, I just think if they get positioning down, that defense is going to lock up a lot more. And I think this is going to be a lot of low-scoring games, to be honest.
just based off of how game one is going i think you're right i think you're right they're both going to just try to play the defense counterattack meta and uh if you don't overcommit, the over the counterattack meta doesn't really work because there's just always someone back and you kind of just throw it right to them and uh Kato will actually throw this one off the back well spooky wants it but simi has the counterattack. can failure actually put this over the last one no Bobot saves it and uh you girls stay alive here simi 50 man uh simi's defense just hasn't really been working it's all been kind of favorable in e-girl's direction and, th and this is another one. Oh, spooky mama wants it but doesn't fall for him now it is simi around two clicks over one does he have any more collections no it is kato with a really smart challenge and crj maybe wants this one has it over spooky mama and uh bot bots here in the midfield one more chance for e-girls to score here and it will not convert wait oh it's almost another one and e-girls take game numero uno i think surprising a lot of people yeah and they almost got another goal to go but yeah it's a lot of awkward positioning coming from lorem and i think once they clean that up it's going to be a lot closer i will say uh there was some surprising plays from um players that i wasn't expecting this game and i'm, I'm really happy to see the improvements going into it and so both teams really desperately trying to claw their way to a win and I think that also speaks volumes when you look at the play styles. Like you said, they're kind of playing back very far. And yeah, it it shows with how they play. They they both desperately want this win. Absolutely. Both very winless in Deve, so it's really heartbreaking for them. And uh this might just fall in Simi's net again. Simi will definitely not be having a good night if he gets swept by the E-Girls, so. You really got to hope for his mental, at least uh, it, it works out in their favor. Bop Bop with the own goal attempt doesn't work out and E-Girls stay alive. <laughs> Spooky Mama, it's over K-Tool. Bop Bop has to be there. No, it's a 50 straight into K-Tool's net. And Spooky's going to be regretting that one. Yeah, it another one of those just no one expected that to kind of go back over him and no one could react fast enough. Everyone's just in the wrong spot, and they got a good 50 that went right back into the net. It happens, and honestly, it's a good start for Lorem. They're, after going scoreless last game, to get one in the first 30 seconds has got to feel a lot better. Oh, failure with a uh, squishy attempt. Not going to work. Spooky with the counter again. Simi now has this one off the wall, maybe to a teammate. CRJ doesn't get that one before Bot Bot. And uh, he misread that one again. Far post not going to fall in. Simi and Spooky here. Spooky out to K-Tool. Doesn't quite work because it got crashed down real early on that one. Four minutes left in this game. Lots of time to work with. And uh, K-Tool's just, he's playing the slow. He's playing the smart. He wants to play his game. And so far, Simi's just letting him. Yeah, uh, that was a really Ooh. nice flick. If only, it was almost a goal there. That would have been real nice. I don't think Lauren was expecting that kind of... Uh pass but here we go we almost see a nice shot again but spooky mama's there to save it and it playing a big game of ping pong here throwing the ball back at Ooh. each wall having to bounce off and doing it over and over again but one of these Ooh. guys bop bot tries to take a shot gets a good save though and this honestly, is ridiculous <laughs> this is <laughs> this is a lot closer of a game than i thought it was gonna be i i thought that each game was gonna kind of just be Ooh. sweeps back and forth a tool almost just actually peaked. That would have been nuts to see. Bot Bot with the ah! shot. Crossbar saves it. Spooky no. Mama's there, but it's a misread. <laughs> Unlucky. You hate to see it. Spooky Mama going with the redemption. Double tap pass to Bot Bot. Ah! Another pass. Ah! K tool. Oh, and it's they in. did it. They finally did it. Oh my God. What a series of events. I can't believe that just occurred. <laughs> <laughs> it was an interesting uh, scuff series of events there. I won't lie. I, I was not expecting that to uh, happen the way that it did. <laughs> <laughs> bot Bot should have this one collected. It's a tie game at halftime, basically. Okay, Tool and Spooky work for that one. Failure now to CRJ, CRJ with the snipe. Not going to convert. It's just not. It's not really around anyone, but it does fall somewhere. Simi now. Double tap collection does have it down to a teammate. Except Spooky Mama wants it. Pump on the back wall. That was a little strange. CRJ, potential double. Doesn't work out. Simi with the 50. Does he have failure up for this one? Actually, Spooky Mama passing to Bot Bot. Bot Bot gets this one. 
board CRJ. A little bit of a mistouch there. And now it is Spooky Mama. Does he have one out mid? Simi should block this one and he does. Hithel just trying to take it slow again. Does have a pass out mid. Simi should read that very easily. And uh, both are just playing their very smart, slow, defensive uh, plays. And it's working very well. Yeah, it's it's really solid. It, it doesn't make high scoring games, but it does keep them keep them close and intense. You don't really see like 4-0, 3-0 oh! games typically. What a As shot! Mister Failure goes down when everyone went up. Big smart, and uh, Kato maybe should have jumped when he shouldn't have. I'm gonna let uh, Spooky Mama go for that one and uh, play back post, as he so adamantly loves bringing up. But uh, hey. If you're Ketel, you're bad. So, you gotta deal with it. Now we got Ketel here. Should have a double tap, maybe even a flip reset. Doesn't quite work. It's a pinch out mid. And Spooky Mama wants to peek on your mama. And gets a nice goal for Ego or Spectres. Bring this one back to a tied game. Nice little pass from the tool, though. Yeah, that was nice. I honestly, I thought that that was not gonna pinch down the way that it did, but that was really nice. Glad to see them make some team plays there. And good job on Spooky Mama for just being there. Smokey? Smokey? Nah, oh, failure. <laughs> okay, a big clear from him. Maybe to Simi. Okay, so should cut this one off. Oh, that's just in their nets? Oh, that's, oh, that's just net. in their nets? Petula. It, it just falls into his hands. What? Why? Luckiest e-girl out there ever. Wonder if that was maybe the fault of some miscommunication there. Or something Most likely, yeah but uh no. if you're e-girls you are up in game two when you already took game one which means you literally put yourself on match point if you uh managed to steal this away from lorem so uh definitely some motivation to take this one but if you are lorem you absolutely need to take this game to keep yourself in this series to tie it up to basically make it a best of three bot bot should have this one though maybe attempt for the e-girls you can't make contact as he is a bot and now it looks like Simi collects this one out to anyone, except for he does have a nice collection. Okay, so early challenges. It's going to work every time on good old Tula. So I like to see that CRJ wants a teammate, doesn't get one. And this is just a really close game. I, I don't know. I mean, both teams need to get a win here. And honestly, if either team loses this series, it's going to be really disheartening for either one. Ooh, As we bump. see a bump and CRJ. Oh, what a but save. Kate with the save. That was amazing. As we see a lot more demos coming out here in the last minute as uh, teams are just trying to make any sort of play happen. It's one of seconds will do that to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we see Simi with the hard clear. Spooky Mom is waiting for it. Just catches it. As they try to get a demo on him, Failure takes the ball up. Gets Ooh. bumped off the wall, though. So Bot Bot takes it. Shot on target, but Simi's there to save it. Takes it up the wall. K-Tool's there. Failure pinches it back up, but doesn't have a lot of boost as Spooky Mama pinches it right back at the corner. Simi's there. He pops it up for CRJ. Never mind for Simi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he picks it up and it hits the ground as Ego Respectors take they the series take to 2-0. Two games. Wow. Again, coming into this one, I thought Laura Mipson was the better team. They look better. I mean, they they won yesterday and E-Girls haven't won yet. So I thought they maybe just had some uh, momentum coming into it. But uh, maybe it turns out Simi's momentum from his last series on the NDSC Varsity game maybe is playing into this one a little bit more than we expected. And uh, he's not able to capitalize with his team as he would want to. And it, it's just hurting their team dynamic. I think if they change that up, Lorem will have to reverse sweep. But it's definitely doable if you are the good old Sim God. Now whatever team wins the series, if it's a sweep or a reverse sweep, that's really, really going to play <laughs> a, a hard thing on your mental. I mean, getting swept by K-Tool's team, that is... <laughs> <laughs> the team that was only swept up until like week four, week five, <laughs> and then getting swept by them. Dude, that's just got to be the most embarrassing uh, storyline in the book. And uh, since Ketel does write all the scripts, I I wouldn't doubt him doing that. That is very Ketel-esque. Now yeah, we do have Bot Bot towards Simi. Backwards and awkward, but Spooky goes early challenge. I really like in the pace that uh, E-Girls do put on when they're on offense. They really try to pick it up and uh, force... Lorem into some bad spots 
but then they slow it way down when they're on defense and it works out really well yeah the change of pace on their team is really nice and it almost feels like they know exactly when to really change it up so that lorem's just the most ineffective as they could possibly be it every single time it, it's just working out and it's as we see a nice clear from spooky mama on net but failures there hotbot sends it right back at the corner and this is this is a scary game because this means everything right here game three is super important and they need to or ipsum needs to clean it up so that they can you know not get swept here but ego respecters are doing everything they can to get their first win right now it, oh. it's really cool failure wanted simi but he got challenged so early it worked well grj and she beats pumpkin here he does get a nice dunk beats pumpkin beats ketel and now it will be uh ketel collection off the wall it does have one touch simi will clear this one spooky to himself no it'll be failure there actually to counter attack just ketel alone could be a good 50 doesn't work out in his favor crj up early good touch off the ceiling will be spooky mama's ball though and simi has to sit back and he gets bumped while he's sitting back <laughs> i was gonna say i i think that was the bump i caught a glimpse of it yeah we see Riddle. k tool chasing simi down smart play on k tools end love to see it these are net wide open for spooky once again eagle respecters up it's just not it's hard for lorem to get a good start in these games oh no oh they almost <laughs> scored there <laughs> i've been a really good cast of curse but uh <laughs> looks like simi he could potentially still get this one crj he's just not a great shot from simi you definitely expect a little bit more from him as he's the captain of the Laura Mipsum squad. Oh, a little bit awkward on the goal line there. CRJ over to Tool. Tool on target. Semi, a diving save works out quite well. A do demo dodge there worked out nice. Semi, not Semi, spooky. Looks like CRJ and Pumpkin will be going for this one. Same with failure. And uh, actually, no one went for it. So it'll be Kato's ball. Because uh, why not? <laughs> Semi, nice clear off the back ball, though. Two minutes, 20 to work with low scoring game again i mean do you expect anything less from these two teams that's that's the play style they play i mean i i suppose you should have expected them to be low scoring but you think that with the momentum that e-girls have going into this game they're already up 2-0 they, they could just push on the gas a little bit they have that that little cushion to really just really go and stat pat have their stats <laughs> and just sit there and get as many goals and stuff as they can to make it look a little bit more intimidating what? for their week by week games. Ooh, that was almost peaked by Potbot getting that nice angle. Spooky to CRJ. CRJ, big bang. Failure wants the redirect. Can he get it around one? Potbot's there. CRJ cleans it up. Laura Mipsum stay in the series. Oh my gosh, what a great goal. And a fantastic pass from failure as well. Just right over him. K Tool couldn't get back in time. And CRJ just cleans it up. Throws at the back of the net to tie it up. Absolutely and what you would love to see if you are a Lorem Ipsum supporter. Finally getting into this game. Potentially getting into this series. It's all bumping though. A little disrespect. He's a little mad. A little angry. No cams so he can't show you that. So just trust me. I know. Now Bop out to CRJ. It's awkward for Ketul. It's off the back wall. Can anyone put it in? It's Simi to double. It's failure to finish. Oh my God. Lorem Ipsum are back in action. <laughs> yeah. Another brilliant back-to-back -back pass there. Triple. It was like a triple commit, but none of them really knew who was going to go for it. So <laughs> all of them kind of struggled to really decide where to go. And it was just unfortunate positioning there and unfortunate rotations. And Pumpkin has this one. Can he get a teammate? He can. Oh, he can't put it in though. Now it looks like Spooky <laughs> actually has just so much space, but failure's the disruptor. TRJ's the finisher. No, he sets up Simi potentially or failure. Cutting the rotation there a little bit. Simi and Pumpkin will have to be back for this one. Ketel not the touch he likes there. A minute left. Lord needs to hold this lead if they want to stay alive in game three. And it's now it's a matter of Egrill has to oh the, my Egrill god have to push on the gas now they're down one there's 38 seconds left you think that they kind of transition to a more aggressive play style in these last 30 seconds to see if they can tie it up i mean they don't really have a choice right they don't they don't 
you, you, you gotta get your first win. You gotta, you gotta secure it. And uh, the game three nerves are real. Once you go on match point, you're just like, oh, I can't throw this now. I can't. And you end up actually playing worse and start throwing, but not Spooky Mama. Spooky Mama has all the ice in the world. Call this man the ice man because he I mean, is clutch. A bot bot pass demo combo was really, really smart and really well played. And now we're 2 2 with 15 seconds left. Maybe we go into overtime. Maybe not because K2 gets a good face off, but is right there to block it. Mm. Step back to the corner. Demo coming out. It's open to me. Oh, he could have converted that and shut it down for Lorem. They need to get this goal in OT or not. They need to score to stay alive. Golden goal separates Lorem from the bench or greatness. <laughs> yeah, and we just see. Ooh, as we we're seeing Lorem really coming out hot. And I think they realize that if they play a little bit more aggressive, it's kind of messing up E Girl's rotations a little bit. Bombs and coming out. The bombs. Holy Smart to not overcommit if you are CRJ though. You you would have had all three in their half. And if they just get one good touch, it's around Alvia. But spooky, good play here. Simi most likely will just go for a bang over. He does get it. Okay, so cutting it off early. All Lorem are back, so it's not too dangerous yet. Now it will be CRJ. Lots of space, a lot of boost to work with here. Does have one touch out. Doesn't get anything great though. Okay, so we'll defend here. CRJ into the midfield. Bop Bop wants it. It's out to the midfield. Simi should have this one. Corner read. He can get this one. Maybe just to pass out the failure. Not going to work as Spooky cuts it off very well. And it will be Eager's ball. And we see failure take it into the corner as K-Tool gets another pass off. Simi doesn't read it. K-Tool gets the CRJ. demo. Spooky Bomb is there. No. And that's... Oh, they secure the off. sweep. I can't believe it. After getting swept all season, Ketul pulls uh, out of his butt cheeks and wins the entire game. I cannot believe it. I will try to get these guys for a post game interview. They just swept. I did. With Blasky. What? That was, that was just wild. I was not expecting that at all. I, I <laughs> we both put on Lorem. I uh, I lost some B, I lost some e bucks tonight. Some uh, good old Bison bucks. I can't believe it. I yeah. put a lot of faith. <laughs> <laughs> all right, are we. Uh, to I'll have player. him join caster. I guess. Yeah, I don't really want to do cams right now, as it will just crash my PC. So sorry about that, guys. We'll get Kato in here. <laughs> Hopefully, these guys just join in. Kato, do you got your teammates? We can get them in here as well. But, I, uh, I told them to join feeling? General. <laughs> I told them to join General. I'll drag him in. So we got we got one. We got Papa, and uh, Spooky. Hopefully, is going to be uh, joining us very shortly. shortly. Ellie. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it feels pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, it was a very odd game. We kind of kept saying in, in comms, like, oh, wait, literally just play our normal game and we win. Like, we don't have to do anything special. We don't have to plan anything special. Like, whatever we did just worked really, really well. Yeah, I, do, I don't know what you guys did so well either. Like, you, this is my job to know what you guys did well, but I don't. I, you just outplayed them. Maybe Simi didn't have the best game after, you know, losing. So I can't tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It really did. Uh, I mean, I, I just saw very solid rotations. You guys definitely just took your time when you're on defense. You didn't have very much pressure to deal with. And then as soon as you got to offense, you just picked up the pace immediately. And it was, it was just a whole different game. So I really liked how you played that one. And it just worked <laughs> flawlessly. Like literally you got swept all season. And then you finally pull out a sweep of your own. I can't believe it. I mean, you rate the script. So uh, you obviously can believe it. <laughs> Oh, 
so you got to give them a win. Oh. <laughs> if we by chance lose. <laughs> we'll ask you to hit them up. <laughs> Is there anything that you guys particularly stepped up on to make sure that everyone contributed a little bit? Dude, I don't know what it is, not gonna lie, our warm-up today was pretty rough between all three of us, like, it, it was, it was bad, so I don't know if we, like, legitimately just got every bad touch out of our system beforehand, but I think one of our biggest things that changed tonight is, like, instead of one of us, honestly, me, trying to, like, do too much, be like, oh, I gotta be the captain, I gotta do blah blah blah, Yeah. just respecting my teammates as just, like, on my level, and it worked out exceptionally well tonight. Yeah. Having yeah, faith, you... It worked out. Use well. that in the use that in the use that in the future, and absolutely, I think you guys could be a much better team than your record portrays. But uh, hey, you gotta win on your belt. I think you can definitely make make some people upset if you uh, do well in this good old uh, you know playoffs bracket. That's where it all matters, anyway, right? Yeah, that's the exactly. goal. Exactly, it's all playoffs. All right, well, well, is there anything else you guys? Yeah, is there anything else you guys want to let us know? Of course, <laughs> before we uh, let you go for the night. No, Use your Twitch think, primes. Think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love, love, love that bot bot. Um, no, honestly, appreciate you guys casting. We got a dub. It feels good. And hopefully we'll carry the momentum for the entirety of the rest of the entire season. All one game. Sure. Yeah, yeah. do that. <laughs> good luck. I love it. All right, guys. Thank you for doing this one. And uh, good win. Good job, boys. You Thank did you. it. Thank you. Later. Bye. All right, it's back to just me and the good old Blaskinator here. And uh, how did you feel after casting that one? That was a very interesting series. Very, very yeah, interesting. It, it was not at all how I thought it was it would go, but it went a lot better than my first casting, where all everyone's internet died. And <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Yeah, it was tough. So, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Not expecting a three zero sweep from Eagle. I didn't even expect him to win. So. It was really awesome to see. Oh, yeah. I mean, everyone gets a little win. That's how we like to do it up here in Div A. Am I, am I right? <laughs> everyone gets a little fun. Yeah, that's exactly right. I just hope my team can turn it back around a little bit. <laughs> <into the> <laughs> a little bit of a rough stretch. Yeah, that's fair. It's fair. Three, three losses in a row. Definitely hurts the morale. All, All game, game five. fives. Yep. <laughs> we went from two sweeps to three game five losses in a row. That's fun. <laughs> definitely always here to see but uh that's all we do got here for some dcl content tonight no back-to-back -back matches at all but uh it's always nice to see kate take a win as it is very uncommon for him thank you all for tuning on in we are trey and blasky have a great night everybody